The Sanatorium of Giroux is an abandoned mental institution in northern France. It was built in the 1930s and it's gained a reputation of being one of the most haunted places in the entire country. There's a legend that the ghost of a 14 year old girl haunts the place. Of course, this means it draws plenty of ghost hunters every year. But in that same compound lies one of the better equipped cricket facilities in the country, the Juru Cricket Ground, which in 2023 drew the attention of ghost hunters because of cricket matches. If you need a VPN, go Nord. Use nordvpn.com forward slash Kimber to get a two year contract with a discount plus four extra months plus gifts in some markets. It's completely risk free with Nord's 30 day money back guarantee. The link is in the show notes. Protect your computer like a blocker protects the stumps with Nord VPN today. All this starts with a former cricketer called Tracy Rodriguez, who served on the French cricket board from 2021 until 2023. Rodriguez had championed the women's cricket cause in France for years before getting to serve on the board. But unfortunately, once she got in, she realized that the support for the women's game was almost non-existent, despite the front that France cricket put up with the ICC. One major red flag for her was an article released by France Cricket in March of 2022. It was titled The Evolution of Women's Sport and Cricket in France, which said, among other things, that 73 women's matches were organized in 2021 and 91 were going to be played in that year. Rodriguez already had her suspicions about matches being staged for a while. But once she saw these claims, she decided to do a little bit of investigating in her spare time. She turned up at a couple of the grounds where the Women's Division 2 games were scheduled to have taken place and found her suspicions confirmed. The matches were not being played, at least not at the scheduled time or place communicated by France Cricket. But days later, the ratified results were being published online by France Cricket. Rodriguez was one of the people that Peter O'Brien and Gregor Thompson of France 24 spoke to in a three-month-long investigation, eventually leading them to the Juru Cricket Ground. At first, they were looking to verify Rodriguez's claims. Their first stop was the Sassel's Cricket Ground for the Women's Division 2 semi-final between the Paris Knight Riders and Saint Omar. That was supposed to be on September 2nd. And a match was played on September 2nd at the Sarcelles ground. It just wasn't the women's Division 2 semi-final. Of course, as responsible journalists, once they saw the result of the encounter being published as if the game did take place on the given date and time, they decided to contact the two clubs. And this is when things get kind of interesting and very embarrassing. One club, apparently unaware that the reporters had actually been to the venue, insisted that the match did take place exactly as planned. But the other club claimed that there had been a last minute change of venues. They couldn't even get their story straight. And do you know what happened after that? France Cricket actually called up the guys from France 24 and asked them not to contact clubs directly. Since when can you not contact cricket clubs? But next, they went ghost league hunting to the Giroux cricket grounds for the final of the competition. And well, that game did not happen either. But three days later, there was another result sheet published and validated by France Cricket. But why would this happen? What was there to gain by staging these fake women's cricket tournaments? France Cricket, though not one of the biggest boards in the region, have some large ambitions of progressing through the ranks of cricket. Development on that front would mean more funds from the ICC, and with cricket set to feature in the Olympic Games of 2028, more resources from the sports ministry might also follow. With the ICC's focus on growing the women's game, France Cricket made plans to do just that. Many of their strategy reports to the ICC signaled their intentions to conduct regional training camps and girls' schools competitions. However, instead of following through on this and supporting the game's growth, France Cricket chose to pass the buck to the cricket clubs. They decided to tie the fate of top performing men's teams to the women's game, making it so that a club could not play in men's top division if they did not have a women and juniors team. In 2021, France Cricket implemented a structure where forfeiting or failure to conduct a game would result in a fine of 200 euros. This went up to 300 euros for repeat offenders and a fine of up to 1,000 euros could be incurred if you couldn't field a team for the finals. Now remember, this is in no way a professional setup. The players are amateurs, most with real jobs outside of cricket. So instead of paying the fines or having their men's team suffer, 
Some clubs just pretended to have a women's cricket team. The board had basically given them a huge incentive to cheat the system because the honest clubs, the ones who owned up to not having a women's side or forfeited games just because they couldn't actually find enough players, ended up having to pay fines that they couldn't really afford. In 2021, France cricket reportedly earned over 20,000 euros in fines. And that figure dropped to just over 5,000 once the concept of a ghost league was born. Now, you'd be forgiven for thinking that this is all on the clubs and that they are actually gaming the system and that France cricket is the victim. But according to the story broken on France 24, there are board members and other cricket officials involved in many of these clubs, indicating that they cannot claim that France cricket is unaware of what is happening or being duped in any way. Remember those two clubs that couldn't get their story straight about the Division 2 semi-final? Both had France cricket board members in leadership positions. So why did they let it happen? France Cricket's future strategy is based on the realization that the ICC subsidies are closely linked to performance on a number of key indicators, one being the development of women's cricket. Falling behind on this would mean less funds, so they have to at least appear to be doing something. Sure, the nine teams in Division 2 may actually be faking an entire league, but France Cricket doesn't care just as long as the results are being filed. And for years, those involved in cricket in France have expressed their concern about how the game is being run. Even Marjorie Guillaume, who joined the France Cricket Organization in good faith and wrote the statement on the evolution of women's sport and cricket in France, now talks about how bad things were within the board, especially with regard to its finances. Guillaume says they reached a point where the board was extremely uncomfortable with her being at meetings because she asked too many questions. Despite being the CEO, she told France 24 that there were times when she didn't have access to the budget, further claiming that France Cricket was spending thousands of euros on cricket equipment, which no one ever set eyes on. The fallout since the story broke has been big. Several of the large clubs released statements expressing their lack of confidence in the current leadership of France Cricket. Most damning, perhaps, was the statement from the women's national side, strongly condemning the actions of the governing body as outrageous and disassociating themselves from the behavior and actions of French cricket. A statement from the captain, Emmanuel Brevillet, also indicated how she had been asked many times to misrepresent the state of affairs with women's cricket in France at the 2021 T20 World Cup qualifier. Standard Athletic Club, one of the oldest sides in France, led the chorus of voices asking the ICC to step in and conduct a thorough investigation in what has been happening and meet out necessary punishment. Andrew Wright, who heads European Development at the ICC, basically told France 24 that they trust French cricket because the ICC has a process to make sure that the levels of cricket activity that take place within the country are approved and that checks and balances are in place. However, after that was said, Sky Sports News reported that the ICC had confirmed that they would be looking into the situation, although we don't know if that means anti-corruption or exactly what they are doing at the moment. So what does France Cricket have to say? The board's president, Prabhu Ballon, told CrickBuzz that the story was baseless and that the journalists who broke the article were trying to get attention. Because we all know that stories on women's French cricket leagues get so much attention. Belain also mentioned that he is of Indian origin, so there may be a racist element to their allegations. All two cricket clubs just couldn't keep their stories straight. And while questions about the investigation dragged on, France Cricket pulled the women's side out of the inaugural European Cricket Championships in Spain, which took place in December last year, taking away one of the few opportunities to actually allow this women's team to play international cricket. It looks like women's cricket in France was used as a front to get more money. And when it was actually time to play, they were ghosted. The only difference now is that their absence is what haunts French cricket. <laughs>